Hey, man, be careful going out there being black at night. That's what I've been told. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah, never been uh, told yeah. anything. So, uh, yeah, you're a lucky guy. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> you know, you can go out black at night as long as you with me. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll work. That's why I hang out with the yeah. foo. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, officer. He's Dutch. <laughs> You're fine. He's safe. He's okay. You're fine. He's in the great book. <laughs> yeah. Wolfo, you got a you got a sports run down today. Yeah. All right, let's do, do some of that. Oh, and talk. you guys can jump in, man, whenever you want. So here oh. we go. Are we, what are we doing? World Cup first or what? Well. uh I'm pretty sure you know that LeBron James is going about to be a free agent. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So that's going to cause a huge avalanche in the NBA uh, tomorrow after the podcast airs. Okay. Uh, we're going to find out a bunch of shit. Uh, the All Star Game is almost upon us. Foo. The Dodgers are doing way better. Yeah. Yeah. Good, fucking good, good for them. They're Finally, dude. Go Red Sox. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, I'm a Yankees fan. What's up? Well, sorry. that's the end of this podcast. Thanks for everybody for coming. <laughs> I already know how to shut it down. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, Kai Bosch on that shit. They had the uh, NBA awards <laughs> the other the other night mm-hmm. uh, earlier this week. Um, which nobody liked. It was super shit compared to everyone watching. What is it? Um, it was the NBA awards. So they uh, gave the awards for the MVP, Rookie of the Year. How do you all, feel about that? All that stuff. Um, what the funniest part about that was uh, James Harden from the Rockets won the MVP. And they, and they, they, actually, they actually gave him uh, they actually gave him a flappy beard game <laughs> where you can play as James <laughs> Gordon. What the fuck? <laughs> Because he's known as the beard in the yeah. NBA, so they gave him a game called Flappy Beard, and if you if you beat it or as far as you can go, you win MVP. So that was really cool. Flappy Beard, motherfuckers. Uh, the Clippers traded uh, their coach's son today. The Whoa. coach, the coach, yeah, Austin Rivers. Where'd he go, bro? Traded him to uh, Washington for Gortat, the that, center. Bro. So that means DeAndre is probably Ooh. out. He's gone, dude. Yeah, they're not going to keep him around, or he's going to opt out of his contract. And That's I hear rumors the Lakers might be interested in him. Yes, we heard that too, man. Now, now, what do you think about the you know all the freaking boards being up? And I, like we were driving here, right? Mm-hmm. And all we saw was straight up, man, PG thirteen and LA Bron. Uh, uh, did you hear in Sacramento they actually took out the Sacramento Kings took out an ad that said uh, Kings James. So no, no, no. They, like honestly, everyone, everyone's no, no. trying to like. That's they're the game the, now. They're not the Sacramento Kings. They're called the Sacramento Queens, Queens for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 no. That's Shaco, the L.A. Ever Queens. Since Shaq yeah. owned them. Yeah. What, 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 uh, but yeah, the uh, Jacob. That's, that's hockey. Jacob yeah, I know. And, that's hockey. Yeah, quack, 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 quack. Yeah, but. So they have LeBron yes. and Paul George billboards now. Yes, I for, saw uh, uh, Jacob and Ronnie, he's the lawyer that has his, dude, his yeah. billboards. He's bro, diehard dude, Lakers fan. Dude, did you see the one where, it, dude, we just saw the one today. It had half PG-13 and the other half LeBron. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, David doesn't like sports, so he just starts playing video games. What we do <laughs> whenever he gets. Oh, I got all the rings. I got all the rings. Oh, right. I'm feeling this right here. Yeah. Um, did you see Argentina today pull off right, that man. death victory did at the end? Did you see that cross, dude? In the 85th minute, man, Rojas, dude, with the first time volley, outswinger to the outside <laughs> pole, dude. Like, did you see that in the side netting, dude? Hey, hey, did you see, did, you, did you know that Mrs. Pac Man is the biggest sweet. video game horror? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she gobbles up all the did balls. Did you see the finish to the Spain game? What is happening here? There's just dude, two conversations. Did you see right that now? flick? Yeah, that dude, was fucking dude, sick. You know what? And honestly, dude, the v, and it looked the, like he didn't even mean to do it. No, he did it on purpose. Yeah, dude, like, but That's honestly, how honestly, man, looked. this goal, this goal line technology, this VAR technology has been doing wonders right now for the World Cup. If they would have had that implemented in 2002. We wouldn't have had the same World Cup champion. Oh, definitely not. Because remember, uh, a couple goals, man. Argentina would have been knocked out. Germany would have been knocked out. You know, whole nine yards. It's really man. a game changer, actually. It is. It's changing it is the great. results. And don't forget, the first country to have that activated, man, was France. The watch. more rings, the more you win. Yeah, watch. France <laughs> is going to be World Cup champions. They're going to repeat. It's going to be since You heard it, guys. The French. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. We oui, oui. we will win the World Cup. You see, <laughs> we will, we will. 
Uh, did you hear what Magic Johnson said earlier? <laughs> he says that the Lakers can't get two All Star superstar players. Uh, he's going to resign. So Ooh. he he voluntarily threw his shit out there like that. So I'm kind of worried about the Magic Man right now, dude. Mm. Uh, just because we've had bad luck for like six years. Yeah, uh, Actually, it's been seven, bro. That's super balls. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're then true. if the well, whoever broke the mirror, that shit's up then, right? Seven, seven years. No, no. What? Happened? Well, they're already gone. Those guys are already yeah. gone. See, he, see, he came in yeah. and he's trying to see, turn it see, around. The problem is, is that stupid Steve Nash contract that we signed, dude. That was the dumbest shit ever, dude. When the Lakers got Steve Nash, he was a better soccer player than he was oh, a shit. basketball player at the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steve Very Nash. True. I hope you heard that. <laughs> Seriously, him and Dwight fucked us, uh, which yeah. is why we're here today, guys. Literally, they traded away all their draft picks up uh-huh. until 2017 yeah. to get Steve Nash and Dwight Howard. So we're yeah. finally over the hurdle. And that's why Boston and Philly are relevant now. Yep, because we gave them our picks. Mm. Crazy, huh? Ridiculous. David's yeah. doing excellent on this Sega game. Right? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Sonic. I'm glad. Oh, yeah. I'm hey, glad God damn it. So segment over then. Well, <laughs> dude, you didn't, I, even, I you didn't, dude, you didn't even talk about the Denmark France game, dude. What the hell's going on? Here? Well, you uh, said France is going to take it, right? Well, dude, we don't Den- need to Den- talk Denmark about and France no, no, no. is the first zero zero game of the whole World Cup. That's what we need to talk about. The first zero zero game. Do you guys know how the scoring uh, works in the World Cup? Actually, they don't go enlighten fuck. us. No, I, I'm interested. I'm well, interested. yeah, if you're really interested, um, if you score a goal, it counts as your point total, and then when you win, it counts as another point. So if you tie, you don't get the point. It's called three. It's three points for a win, one okay. for a draw, zero yeah. for a loss. Interesting. Okay. So the zero zero tie is like. Is why I don't give a fuck about <laughs> the zero zero <laughs> is the absolute worst case scenario. Ah, uh, nobody wins there. Huh? Well, yeah, but- you just proved you and the other team were both shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, man, we just rested everybody. We're about dude. to right. have a battle royale right here, right now. <laughs> is France total shit, or is France going to take the cup? They are ranked number seven in the world right Watch now. Watch Fox and you shall find You'll out. You'll see, bro. Yeah. Actually, 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 man, France is playing Argentina in the next round. Yeah, I don't think Messi can keep it up, man. I don't think so, too. Football! He's going to get bullied. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Mexico, hopefully they've won by the time this aired. If not, uh, can I get your thoughts on this, man? I think you said you had some bad karma on this game or something. Uh, no. I, I Well, my, <laughs> my grandpa, when I was very, very little, uh, I think it was... Uh, well, a, a few a few World Cups ago, he told me he's just he, after they lost, he's just like he gets up from where he's sitting. He's just like Mexico will never win, never won in my lifetime, and you never and they never will win in yours. And I'm like, oh shit! And I'm a little kid. And I'm like, what the fuck, Gramps? <laughs> 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 I'm like, dude. Cursed them for life. <laughs> it cursed me for life. So, I mean, I'm hoping, uh, you know, they break that curse. Hey, honestly, man, this is the best Mexican team since 1986, bro. Yeah, yeah. Other than the one they used to play with in the uh, the church parking lot. Oh, shit. Ole. Got him. Yeah. Count it. Got it. Then, uh, no! Well, that, thanks, man. I learned something today. Of course. And uh, you know what they now say. Know. And knowing is half the battle. I love that show, man. <laughs> we got to get the G.I. Jose for this guy. Well, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Did you guys see uh, this morning, or maybe even it was, it was posted last night, but Tom Morello fucked up his hand? What? Tom Morello of uh, Rage Against the Machine, Prophets of Rage, Audio, Audio Slave. Slave. Yeah, dude, there's this gnarly picture. I'll, I'll pull it up for you guys right now. Anybody can watch it on his Instagram. Uh, it's his playing hand, and it's like where his ring finger um, bone is. They uh, Apparently, he was playing guitar pretty fierce, and he shattered it, and he had to get surgery. So it looks like this. Uh. They, put, they fucking Luke Skywalkered his hand. And they gave him a metal oh. hand. So, yeah, so oh, sorry. That, oh, yeah, dude. All um, right, Luke. <laughs> yeah, go forth and make the force of the music. And apparent, yeah, and apparently uh, they're they're over in Scandinavia or something right now with Prophets of Rage, and uh, he's like, "I'll be fine by Tuesday." <laughs> this is, like, don't even trip. Like, he's gonna hit every solo. It's Tom, Tom fucking Morello, man. 
Um, so if you wanted to know what it takes to be a rock star, it's that shit. That shit, right? <laughs> The it's Dave fuck? Grohl breaking his leg yeah. and finishing the set. You know what I mean? Like oh, dude, it, he did that. It, 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 he, uh-huh. did that. he fucking did that yeah, shit. He did. So he, he did not that. up. What do you think about that, Dave? That that was that's true showmanship right there from mm-hmm. someone like that. Expect nothing less, but someone who's dedicated to the craft. I mean, if you can still play, you can still sing, and you're feeling good, fuck get out there. More power to you. Yeah, Fans man. are gonna love you for it, man. Yeah, it, it's brilliant. it's a win, awesome. man. I mean, I did way too many stupid things in hockey. Like. I, I got hooked. I got hurt pretty bad. Uh, knee into the boards. Went to the doctor. Oh yeah, your 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 fucking ACL is about half torn right now. You should probably take at least a month off. I was like, thanks, doc. I'm playing tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, you know, like no, I'm in the playoffs. Nope. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nope, I ain't gonna sit on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to have that mentality. If if you know, especially in the music industry, there's three million bands on the internet right now. What makes you stand out? You know. Yeah, it, yeah, it totally. sucks. It's like good, but it's also bad and because it's you have to be you have to work a lot harder in a different way than you used to. Like, but everybody forgets actually handing out flyers and talking to people, which is still the best way. And and, and as shitty and as uh, much as, as a as a cop out as it may seem, and you can disagree with me, but I think showing up is probably going to eliminate half of the people out there too. Just fucking showing up. To practice, to yeah, shows, yep. just being there, 60%, being in the scene. 60 to 65% probably. Yeah. Not even half, like more than that. Like, yeah. It, Early it, and often, man, just get out there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And uh, just, just giving it what you got. There is no excuse if you're in a local band on a weekend to not go to a local show unless you are playing a show. Mm-hmm. It's a good philosophy. And you should go with your whole fucking band. Yep. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, Definitely go out and support yeah. some other, some yeah, other local artists. Uh, man, I wish totally. everyone would do that, man. You know what I'm saying? That'd, that'd, be, that'd be beautiful, man. If everybody did that, there'd be 50 people at shows before fans. And Dude, you know what I mean? Like, everything would be... It, it, it'd save the, it would save the scene. That's a scene. Exactly. It would save the scene. It would, it would show support. You know what I mean? So well, That's what a music scene is. Is the musicians support the other musicians. And here we have... Uh, Entitlement. It's team. L.A. though. Everybody's a transplant. No offense. <laughs> but yeah, and, and no like, offense to transplants or what? Well, oh, I mean, uh, I'm not from here, but um, yeah, but but you know, everybody don't everybody's worry, in I'll it for themselves. I'll live in Hawaii soon enough, guys. Dude, don't worry. Hey, <laughs> we got your hair. No, no, no. Hey, no, I feel that, man. That's, that's true. Which, Every, uh, everyone is. You, even the themselves. comedy scene is that way. Like this, this. The, I mean, we we have the fucking comedy store. We have. We have all like the improv. We have all these venues that would cater to. We have the fucking ice house well, uh, that would cater to a comedy scene. But um, everybody here has either got to stick up their ass or they're not willing to give up to like the next comedian that would come up and and and, and follow that scene. I, I think I think that it trip interprets nicely to the music scene as well, the local music scene yep. in L.A. and, yep. and the uh, not so much the IE. I think that people in IE have a better attitude about music in my they opinion. Do. Uh, but Orange County and L.A., it's just something weird going on over there where it's just no camaraderie. Everybody's in it for themselves. I'm better than you. All San that Diego it, 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 and it, it, IE are both better. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's that lovely high horse, man, those cats love riding it on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like seriously, dude, like, you know, the IE, you know, there's different sex or whatnot, you know what I mean, where, where the bands are, like, you know, chilling together, but at, at least hey, man, there's... it doesn't matter th- what your gender is. S <laughs> E C T S, motherfucker. Jesus Christ! Yeah, but you know, you know what I'm saying, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Now, you know, like everyone has their own group, but at least it's a group. You know what I mean? It's like you know, everyone's like individualized over in LA and shit. You know? Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it, as much as a melting pot as we are, we should act like it's a fucking melting pot sometimes. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I second so, that emotion, man. Yeah, I got, I got one more thing. I gotta squeeze in here. Um, Saturday, Dude. September 29th, we're going to be doing an event called uh, One Voice, One Day. I don't know. Shit, I forgot it already. I'm bad. I'm a bad promoter. You heard that right there. Fresh off the press. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I'm in. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're going to have we're gonna have 10 to 15 different shows at the same day at the same time all over Southern California, all different genres, and um, they're all going to be... Um, yeah. <laughs> they're all going to be... <laughs> Um, donation drives um, for the upcoming winter months of like tarps, tents, new socks, jackets, blankets, anything that you don't need that you already have, anything 
you know, people can donate. Mm -hmm. There's going to be um, a donation at the door um, if you choose. And all those donations, plus uh, like a raffle and all this other shit we're going to get going, is going to go to local charities in the area that are actually helping the homeless and not the ones that the cities and the counties choose to give their money to who yep. who try to manage it instead of try to end it yep. because it's fucking horse shit. Mm -hmm. And um, they're basically like, no, well, we need to keep some people homeless in order for us to get our fuck. And it's just, it's, it's crooked. And uh, um they don't like me and I, I don't care. I want them to not like me some more. So we're going to throw <laughs> this huge fucking event and get, you know, L.A. to San Diego all the way out.